Okay, what's going on, y'all? Uh, this article just popped up on my app. I just saw it and um, thought that it was interesting based on, you know, the character Rose in the movie Get Out, who ate this uh, Fruit Loop separately from the glass of milk that she was drinking. Um, um, I didn't read it. Um, I just um, opened it up because I, you know, I thought that it was interesting started recording so if if um i'm gonna leave the the uh, link in the description box where you could go and read it for yourself uh, and i'm just gonna breeze i'm just gonna breeze through this uh, at least try at least try to breeze through it um it's it's not that long of an article. Um, I'm skimming through it now. Um, but uh, it's it it will be the pictures, the pictures that that make the uh, make the article seem long. So getting right into it. Uh, milk is now a racist symbol, according to college student at California State University. Uh, claiming that white nationalists and neo-Nazis are using milk as a form of racial supremacy. Uh, this is what she put in the newspaper, in the school paper. Wait. Yeah, in the school online newspaper. Uh, the student, Samantha Diaz, is a staff writer at the Daily 49er and argues that the neo-Nazis are claiming that her ability to process milk makes them racially superior. Um, and the general populace failed to consider the fact that milk is a hate symbol. Uh, Samantha begins the article saying the following. If you are having trouble finding the connection between these institutions and milk, you're not alone. You, along with the rest of the nation, have been so accustomed to hearing the benefits of milk that you probably didn't even realize the subtle racism hidden in our health facts. Diaz continued by claiming that the United States itself, along with its numerous institutions, such as voter uh, ID laws and state testing, are founded on racism. Samantha further suggests that the deep-rooted tradition to suppress an entire racist existence also extends to the federal dietary guidelines. Samantha wrote the following. Uh, the federal endorsement of milk in America's diet contributes to the problem of unnes of uncritically pushing people to drink milk despite the potential detriment it has on non white people's health. Um in case you in case you don't know, um because if you if you're a part of the conscious community, you already know um the deal with, with milk. Those of you who um who are just waking up you probably don't um or maybe you have maybe you've heard this uh what I'm about to say fly by uh your ear uh but uh milk is nothing but cow pus um you know we could go that route get into the science of it and try to overstand it but if you had pus pulsating from your arm and someone decided to manufacture the pus that came out of your arm um they pasteurized it you know manufactured it put it in a glass and gave it to you would you drink it knowing full well that this is pus that came out of your arm um the same thing goes for cows um and just based on a common sense level anything that we any kind of milk or cheese uh, or the dairy items that we consume on a daily basis is supposed to come from human milk. That's right. And matter of fact, um, it's that that is what some, that is something that Mother Jewel Pukram tells us. And I'm going to also leave that video Either I'm going to leave that video in the description box or I'm going to find it and I'm going to post it myself because um, I have that video on my um, 
on my desktop. Um, she also quoted the 2015 through 2020 dietary guidelines for Americans, which recommend consuming three cups of milk daily to prevent the de development of osteoporosis, which is a disease that weakens the bones. Um, Samantha Diaz then mentions a Mother Jones article that shows the shows that osteoporosis affects Africans at a significantly lower rate than it does most Americans. And uh, Mother Jewel Pukram also has a book. Um, let me let me find it. The book is called Vitamins and Minerals from A to Z. And um in that in that book she states that um our bones are more dense than the Caucasian. And we we, we don't have to drink milk. Uh the whole purpose of drinking milk is to get vitamin D. And um that is something that we get from the sun. Just by standing in the sun for twenty minutes, you can you can get all the vitamin D that a glass of milk would give you. Okay, um, uh, us as black people, we have to um, we have to realize our potential and the things that um, that we are able to do. And the things that we are already that they are trying their best to suppress. And this is why when we talk about white supremacy and we talk about white privilege, they try to they try to shut us up. But the facts lie within science and math. You see what I'm saying? This is why they try to uh, look at statistics concerning uh all things race um, when it when it comes to things like police brutality and uh, us on the educational level but this sister here pulled out statistics on osteoporosis and I'm pretty sure that these statistics were made by Caucasians themselves and these Caucasians because they're all Caucasians that tell the truth and just because they tell the truth doesn't mean that they're good okay but you you have these i believe that these are white people who did who made this this statistic concerning osteoporosis and there's 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 no way of re, uh, you refuting or trying to debunk your own your own people because that shows the inconsistencies with the within even your own community and i'm going to make a video about uh police brutality um police brutality in the white community because white people love to say that the statistics show that um, that we are being killed more than than blacks, okay? And and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put that statement, I'm gonna put that sentiment on his ass, okay? Um, says um, that you found the the uh, the osteoporosis um, affects Africans at a significantly lower rate than that that it does most Americans uh while she while she did not provide any citations throughout um her entire um article it is likely that she was referring to this article by Josh Hawkinson um she continues saying uh she continues saying this the mother jones article states that not only is milk non beneficial to Africans but following the guidelines may actually be detrimental to their health. There is a strong correlation to calcium uh, consumption um, and an increased risk of prostate cancer unproportionately uh, affecting African men. Mm. Um... Samantha also confusingly stated that because black adults and children 
secrete less calcium than whites. They therefore need less milk. I'm thinking a white person probably wrote this. Uh, remember that this is the dietary guidelines for Americans. I want to emphasize that last word. The guidelines are for Americans. This means they they should reflect the health needs of the ethnics that make up America, which newsflash isn't just white people, Samantha wrote. And this is um what she's saying is is exactly what Mother Jewel Pukram says in her book Vitamins and Minerals from A to Z that Caucasian uh, medicine or the medicine or medical um, the medical field is geared towards the um, the statistical um, the statistical medical um, ailments medical ailments of um, of Caucasians and Caucasians only. This is why when in 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 America is like this um you know all day every day. Um it's not just in the medical medical field where you see whites as the status quo of the uh, of of that particular field. When you look at when you look at movies, magazines, um, even even in music, okay, society has has mm. labeled the Caucasian as the status quo, and and in what America is supposed to be, okay. In this particular case, all the medical books are filled with pictures of white people. All of those, all of those science experiments that are that are done are done for white people. The rat that they use that to test on is an albino rat, or um, a, a, an unnatural rat. Okay, this rat represents them. This is why they always test on the white rat. You always see the white rat. Um, they 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 do these things to the white rat, and they say to themselves, "Okay, if this is going to be the outcome for this white rat, this is going to be the outcome for me." Um, but. They 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 base all of their science, all of their uh, medical uh, practices. They base it all on the the workings and findings of experiments done on white rats, which represent them they their cells. Okay. Um, it, Okay, here we go. It says to further back her claim, Diaz mentioned the incident where trolls danced around and shouted random phrases at Shia, Shia, Bluff, Shia LaBeouf. Um, he will not divide us. Live stream event while drinking jugs of milk as well as a single scene in the movie Get Out. Uh, she said this. Get Out artistically addresses the new medium of hate with one of the film's most eerie scenes, which shows a white woman meticulously sipping milk from a uh, uh, from a bendy straw. Now, I didn't even notice the straw. Uh, the scene would have gone unnoticed in the movie, but audience were forced to notice the long, drawn out frame of a white woman taking a sip. Uh, the milk scene and get out along with LaBeouf uh, live stream turned what started out as an internet trolling into yet another form of nonsensical white superiority. Right, Samantha. Um, 
And while there is little logic to train the thoughts involved in choosing the next inanimate face of racism, our country's health guidelines certainly take part of the blame for this one. Um, Diaz, Samantha Diaz, is also not alone in her belief that milk has some nefarious connotations. Newsmike posted a similar article about about a month ago, which also made mention of the disruption of Shia LaBeouf's live stream, claiming the trolls donned neo-Nazi tattoos. Um, funnily enough, Newsmike also made mention of a movie scene involving Milk. This time, it's Christopher Walt's character in Inglorious uh, Bastards. They also uncovered Milk's uh, fort, uh, fortune roots, four chain roots, to anti-vegan troll to anti-vegan troll movements. News might subtitle the article by saying this milk is the new creamy symbol of white racial purity in Donald Trump's America. I think I remember hearing that. Um, with even milk being uh, political, polit- politicized to this degree, it is no wonder that some circles, uh, that's, uh, that some circles, white people smiling at blacks is considered to be a, uh, a microaggression. And uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's it for this article. But um, I, um, I I really have no problem with this article. I don't have a problem with this article at all, um, because it. I think I think that milk has always been been that way. Not just milk, but uh, racism. Racism is everywhere. And this is why people like us um, exist. You know, um, people like us exist for the the sole purpose of fighting racism. Um, people people shouldn't say that um, racism is old and um, it's it's uh, it's not a it's not something that that we should worry about. Um, is something that's minute. Um, if that's the case, if that is the case, if it's if it's minute, let me worry about it on on a level which I choose to address it. Just because you know a statement of mine may cross your path doesn't mean that you should shut me up because it's not something that it's not a path that you chose it's not a fight that you chose to fight racism is a fight that i chose to fight above all things else because it it does exist and there are people that's that are saying that it doesn't exist or trying to say that it's small so that they could um achieve whatever agenda they're trying to achieve but you know i knew um that 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 scene uh, would would stand out. It was it was really the most obvious um, among other uh, parts in the movie. Uh, get out, um, uh, but I really believe if if somebody wants to make something racist, they can make it racist. Anything could be viewed as racist. Okay, but. Um, you know, it, I mean, it is, it is what it is, man. You know, um, if you if if you're going to continue to drink milk, do that by all means, do that. But I'm telling you, based on research that I've done, um, milk that comes from an animal, that comes from a cow, 
a goat or whatever is not good for black people. If you're going to drink any kind of milk, I suggest that you drink either soy milk or you drink almond milk. Soy milk, uh, I wouldn't. I, I would less recommend than almond milk because um, I, I believe an article in an article I've read a while back said that um, like ninety percent of soy seeds, the soy, uh, the yeah, the soy seeds. Are owned by Monsanto, and Monsanto is a company that uh, that uh, makes their uh, their seeds by GMO uh, standards. They're they're not. What it is is when once you plant this seed. You're not able to reproduce that seed. Okay. And there's there's other things involved in it because they have to they have to put these seeds through a chemical in order for the uh the seed to, to be what they want it to be. And they want farmers to come to them. Uh there have been cases where Monsanto has sued farmers. Think about it. Multi multi billion, multi billion dollar company suing a poor ass farmer and a lot of these farmers are left with the ultimatum that um, either you pay us what you owe us or we take your farm so a lot of these farms are owned by Monsanto as well um, but you know that's another story for another time but the main thing that I want to point out is that um, if, you're, if you're going to drink milk drink a milk that you know um, is is beneficial in some type of way. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna look up the benefits of 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 almond milk and soy milk. Okay, I um I found some some articles on um the benefits of almond milk and um and um soy milk. And I'm gonna leave those uh those articles in the description box. Um, have you check them out? Before, you know, for the sake of making not making this video too long. Um, but yeah, you know, tell me what you think about you know about this article. Um, you know, and what and what information you found that that either supports or debunks you know the uh, sister sister Samantha Diaz's article. Uh, like, share, subscribe, you know, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.